Hi everyone, I'm the Senior Tech and welcome to my YouTube channel. Do not loosen the crankshaft pulley center bolt unless you are 100% sure how to set it all back correctly. Getting this wrong can lead to major engine issues. So watch carefully, take your time, and let's go step by step. Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly set the crankshaft position sensor on a 2.0-liter Ford EcoBoost engine using the tool 303-1521 to align everything with precision. This is a critical procedure, especially if you've removed or replaced the crankshaft pulley. Let's make sure we get it right. We begin by bringing cylinder 1 to top dead center, TDC. To do this accurately, use tool 303-748, which locks the crankshaft at the correct position. At the same time, make sure the camshafts are locked in place using the appropriate locking bar. This ensures perfect synchronization between the crankshaft and camshafts, the foundation for proper timing. Next, let's prepare the crankshaft pulley before installing it. Rotate the pulley clockwise, starting from the trigger gap. That's the missing tooth. Now count forward and locate the 20th tooth. This is your reference point. This specific tooth will line up with the crankshaft position sensor, CKP sensor, once everything is installed. Marking it with a permanent marker might help if you're doing this for the first time. Before fitting the pulley, make sure a new friction washer is in place. A new crankshaft oil seal is installed. Do not reuse the old washer or seal. It may result in leaks or inaccurate torque. Now install the CKP sensor. Position it in the middle of the oval mounting holes. This allows for final adjustment later. Then fit the crankshaft pulley so that the 20th tooth aligns with the center of the CKP sensor with a tolerance of about plus or minus one millimeter. Once you're happy with the alignment, tighten the center bolt to the manufacturer's torque specification. With the pulley torqued in place, use tool 303 -1521 to finally align the CKP sensor with the trigger wheel on the pulley. This tool ensures that the sensor reads the position correctly and that the engine ECU receives accurate timing signals. Final checklist. To wrap it up, here are the three critical conditions that must be met. Cylinder 1 piston at TDC camshafts locked in the correct position. CKP sensor aligned precisely with the 20th tooth. When these steps are done properly, you can rest assured that the engine will run smoothly. No misfires, no hesitation, and no loss of power. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more practical car content like this. Got any questions or want to share your own experience? Drop a comment below, I read them all. 
Stay tuned and see you in the next one.